today before you go, um, we get to see a living application of what we just talked about. Um, one of the things that, that I treasure in my life uh, are my kids. And I've got three kids and uh, I love them to death. And uh, the way that I can ensure that those kids will be treasures forever for me is to invest in their relationship with God, to help them as best as I'm able to know and to love God. And, and so here you are as, uh, as parents today and you've got four kids who are gonna come under the love of God in baptism. And I'm so, so, so excited about this as, uh, as this is just like New Testament stuff where a whole family gets baptized together. I love it. Uh, and so today we're gonna see all of you baptized. Uh, I have a few questions for you and they're, they're simple questions just to make sure that this is something that, uh, that, that you understand and something that you want for your life. And so first, and I'm gonna ask you all as a family to respond because some of you are, are old enough to get this and uh, some of you are not. Um, little JC back there is, uh, she's she maybe not quite old enough to do this, but I know as a family, you'll do this together. And so as a family, I ask you first, do you believe in God the Father who's made everything in Jesus Christ, his son, who came to earth, who lived and died for us, who was raised again from the dead and who is coming back? And do you believe in God the Holy Spirit, God's presence who dwells with us? If so, say we do. And uh, for those of you who are being baptized today, do you want to be baptized in the name of Jesus? If so, say we do. <laughs> you too, yeah, awesome. Uh, do you renounce, and this may sound a little weird, but do you renounce the devil and all evil and everything that is counter to God? Do you say no to that so you can say yes to God? If so, say we do. And is it your intention to live your life following Jesus, trusting him above all else as best as you're able right up until he comes to take you home? If so, say it is. Uh, as parents, I ask you, will you also give yourselves over to help your kids? Um, I, I, you know, I believe them and I, I see the sincerity of their faith, uh, but they'll need you in life to also help steer them and to teach them and to nurture them in their relationships. So is it your intention to pray for them, to teach them, and to lead by example about what it means to follow Jesus Christ? Again, not being perfect, because none of us are, but showing what it looks like to live with a deep trust and a reliance in Jesus, even in things that you don't understand. If so, say, we will. Congregation, I ask you, um, because uh, we are a family here, and as these, uh, these kids get ready to become a part of our family, is your intention to receive them, to invest in them, right? To actively place your wealth in things that will go on forever, and to uh, help these kids grow up, and all kids to grow up, to be full-fledged followers of Jesus Christ, who will live for him in their generation. If so, say, we will, with the help of God. Awesome. Uh, before these kids are all baptized, uh, you as parents have written a blessing uh, to speak over them. Uh, Matt, I believe you're going to speak to this. Do you have it? All right. So uh, gather together as a family. These are words of blessing that we ask parents to speak over their children. And uh, today your father's going to speak these words of blessing over you. God, we thank you for all of life's gifts, love, and your grace that you have given us in all of our lives. Please keep your hand on Max, Jaden, Jesse, and JC's shoulders as we want them to be molded in your ways and with your teachings. Allow them to feel protected and turn to you in need. We ask you to keep them in your heart every day so that they will be able to use your love and to shine into this world. Amen. Amen. And I love that. Parents speaking words of blessing over their kids. It's so, so powerful. All right, uh, you have made your promises, but really this is all about God's promise to you. He wants to promise you that uh, he will claim you as sons and daughters. He's gonna give you a gift of his Holy Spirit. He gives you life and salvation that goes on forever. He gives you an inheritance today that, uh, that cannot be taken, it cannot spoil, it cannot perish or fade. So Max, I invite you over. I invite you in uh, over here, step right in and kneel right there on that towel. John Maxwell, do you wanna be baptized today? Yes. All right. To John Maxwell, I now baptize you. In the name of God the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. There you go, buddy. Try yourself off. Jaden, come on over, Jaden. Jaden, what's your, what's your middle name? Matthew. Jaden Matthew, do you want to be baptized today into Jesus? Yes. All right. God is happy to claim you as a part of his family, Jaden. Jaden Matthew, I baptize you in the name of God the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. There you go, buddy. All right, Jesse. 
Jesse, what's your middle name? Marie. Jesse Marie, do you want to be baptized today? Yes. All right. Jesse Marie, I baptize you now in the name of God the Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, his Son, and in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Now, oh, JC, come on over. What's JC's middle name? May. J- JC May. Uh, JC, you excited to be baptized today? All right. She is. She's, she's overjoyed, I can tell. All right, JC May. I now baptize you in the name of God the Father, in the name of Jesus, his Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. She's thinking, what on earth is happening? Yeah. Congregation, isn't this awesome? Watching four kids come into the family of God, and uh, Max, you're not so much a kid anymore, but watching four, uh, four people come into the family of God, it's so, so powerful. Um, they have these candles here because you are now, this is your job, you're to be lights in dark places. So let your light shine before men that they might see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. Uh, let me pray over you. Father, we pray that you'd bless uh, these, uh, this family in their walk with you. Draw them close. Help them learn to trust you, to trust you at your word. Help them live for you. Um, guide them, protect them, lead them. Teach them to be lights in this dark world. And then when their long and full and prosperous life is over, we pray you take them to be with you in heavenly places where they can experience eternal blessings, eternal treasures at your side. We pray it in the strong name of Jesus. Amen. Once again, congregation, can you welcome them to the family of God?